After using Cursor for last one year with a paid subscription, I realized that Cursor is not that efficient, especially for the bigger project. When you have huge context, it actually helps need or sometimes gives answer which totally unrelated to the question you have asked. And this can happen even with the larger and smarter models we have like Cloud Sonnet, Opus, O3 and many more. Why is that? Why cursor is not that efficient when we have huge context window? One more place it really lacks its efficiency when you have something newly released because the models is having a cutoff knowledge for certain date and after that cursor need to rely on the web search that still not giving the exact answer which the cursor or maybe the human are looking for and this is not just my observation everyone is feeling something like this check out this reddit post it says that when you're using cursor id for large legacy files then ai can't actually see the entire file yes this is the big problem but there is a way we can solve this problem which is introducing MCP model context protocol now this is a new protocol which is using the tools behind the scene and gives you the perfect answer for certain things if you're looking for so let's say you are looking for a new release in a Next.js application there is some new feature which you want to use now if you rely on the model they don't know because there is a cutoff knowledge then you rely on the search it cannot give you the exact answer every time but if you have an mcp server of next.js yes all the latest information is available on the mcp server and then the id can easily connect and get the answer but you know what if you are on the next.js then it's okay but when you're working on different different technologies then having mcp server for everyone is again a pain how we can solve this introducing you with the context 7 this is a mcp server a single mcp server you need for every kind of documentation in the world and when i'm saying in the world i mean really because it has 17 almost 18000 libraries with the latest code latest documentation available here check out this next yes the latest documentation synced is one day before Superbase, again one day. Shared scene UI, it's 10 hours just. And that's incredible. You just need to plug this context 7 in your cursor ID and see the magic. Now, to show you how exactly we can use the context 7 in our cursor ID and how you can differentiate when we are not using the context 7 MCP server and when we are using the MCP server, I have a very nice example. So, again, let's get into the Next.js example. Now we can see here on April 9th, 2025, the Next.js 15.3 released and there is a really interesting new feature released here which I really like called on navigate. It's a navigation hook which is an event handler. So how this works basically, if you open the documentation on the link tag, wherever you are using the link tag, you can just add on navigate and whenever there is a navigation, then it can do anything. Right now we are logging. But as you know, the cutoff knowledge for let's say the Claude 4 is March 2025. That means Claude doesn't know about this and cursor need to rely on the web search. But only when it seems like this is a new feature and it's released after the cutoff knowledge of the Claude. Okay, so how we are going to do this? I have a Next.js application where I have this about page and contact page. Let's see how this is going to work. So if I go on the navigate navbar, yes, I have this link. And now I want to add the on navigation event handler to see how it's going to perform. Now in the cursor, if you just search for command shift P and say MCP server like this, or you can just search for cursor setting and then land into MCP. You can see I just have the MCP of Docker that too I just want to remove but I don't have any context 7 or any server running the MCP server now what I'm going to do I'm going to ask to add the on navigation here something like this when I navigate from page 1 to page 2 or maybe I can call it like navigate from about to con tech con 
contact and vice versa then i want to use the use navigate event handler to console that i'm navigating and this should be on the navbar okay let's see without mcp server how this cursor will going to respond now interestingly you can see here it uses the use effect and it's having the window add navigation a lot of amazing things so let's accept it and see how this is going to perform hmm. it says use effect should not be here so what i'm going to do i need to actually add it as a use client and then it's going to work cool so now i will open the console and here are where I move yes it's moving but it's not at all using the on context which I have to use now let's see how we can add the context 7 and then we will ask the exact same prompt and see the result so for that I can go to the context 7 and see how we can add it so go to the MCP server this is actually a github repository and here I will go and see install in cursor now install in cursor is very simple you can just use this mcp server and i'm going to copy that here and you can go on the mcp server once again add new global mcp server just like here i'm going to add so it should be the context 7 the command is npx and argument something like that once it is done save this and now you can see we have a context 7 available here on our cursor you can see this is a yellow icon which is basically saying it's not yet ready maybe it's installing a lot of amazing things and if it's still not working then you can just refresh and very soon it should be available and working so if i do this it changed the color from yellow to green and now you can see it just happened it now turned to green that means contact 7 is ready to use let's now modify it a little bit in our prompt i just need to say at the last use context 7 mcp server for latest docs that's it and now i'm going to hit enter this time it should use the use navigate if everything goes right so it's going to search for the latest documentation for use navigate and once it has found the code then it use it as a reference and get the result now you can see what it does navigate event handler so it should say the use navigate event handler but it's saying navigate event handler which should be different so what you can do you can see what actually we are getting when we search for something on the context 7 so if you go on the context 7 go to the next js and then here you can search and see what exactly we are getting so when we say navigate event handler does it get the use navigate navigate oops navigate oh, navigate okay so it's not getting so if i say use navigate and if i search directly use navigate and see it's getting so this time cursor might not be able to use the use navigate and see what it does oh it does it, it actually getting the answer and if i accept it i can just see okay so something bad happened okay so once again i need to say hey use client and that's it and now if i navigate to contact navigating to contact page if i say about navigating to about page wow that was so interesting at this point we just added that hey you need to use the context 7 mcp server for the documentation and then it get the information directly from the latest nextjs documentation which i just showed you because it was not available either on the cutoff knowledge of the model or even on the web search it was not that clear so that's why this context 7 is really a game changer and must have mcp server inside your cursor id or whatever id you are using vs code maybe on the cloud everywhere it should be available but if you know any other mcp server that you want me to figure out and create a video on let me know in the comment section and this video is really amazing so share with your team member share with your boss that hey i want to use this context 7 is it allowed if yes start using it from day one and if you like these kind of videos just hit like button and also if you have not yet subscribed go and subscribe to this bitfilm youtube channel because amazing ai videos ai development videos are coming 
every day. So let me know your views about this video in the comment section and see you in the next video till then. Goodbye.